Ah, dear heart, why do you rise? The light that shines comes from your eyes. The day breaks not, it is my heart, to think that you and I must part. Oh, stay, or else my joys will die and perish in their infancy. When the coronavirus pandemic emerged in early 2020, Albany Pro Musica was forced to rethink the way we perform in order to keep our singers and audience safe. This year marks our 40th anniversary, and now more than ever, it is essential that we keep singing. It is important that we continue bringing art to our community. Albany Pro Musica has reimagined our entire season to be virtual, and we have partnered with WMHT to bring you our concerts for free on public television. This year, our concerts showcase not only the artistry of Albany Pro Musica, but also the beauty, innovation, and resilience of our region. Today, you'll hear a number of English madrigals from the Renaissance period performed in some of the most beautiful and iconic locations across the capital region. Madrigals are secular work compositions from the 15th and 16th century, and they were typically performed in groups of a few singers. This format was perfectly suited to our current environment, as it allowed us to split the chorus into small ensembles and perform safely in a socially distanced fashion. These songs feature a cappella or unaccompanied singing with delightful love poems set with lush harmonies that showcase the fine voices of the choir. You may hear one lyric repeated across several songs, Long Live Fair Oriana. This was a reference to Queen Elizabeth I, during whose reign this art form became popular. The Renaissance was a period of dramatic and innovative rebirth for Europe. Now, today, our own region is undergoing a modern Renaissance as we see new ideas, technologies, and industries emerge. While our world is surely facing serious challenges, we are also living in a time of tremendous opportunity with the potential for remarkable progress should we choose to embrace it. Throughout today's concert, you'll hear commentary from some of our region's most committed leaders about the critical role that the arts play in helping communities near and far reach that potential. Thank you for joining us today, and please enjoy a Capital Region Renaissance. Each with his body mass upon the greeny grass. La 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 Refusing, la 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 la. 
You know, COVID, I think, has really been challenging for all of us. You know, the city's arts programs, Alive at Five, our festivals, um, the things that, uh, the street festivals that have happened in the city are gone. And they're really missed, and people are craving it. And you can see it when we are able to find some socially distanced outdoor uh, activity that brings people together, how popular those are. And so I think that being able to remind people that this isn't forever, that Albany Pro Musica is still there, that this beautiful music is still being made, and that we have these incredible assets in our region is really important because, you know, we all need that morale booster. We all need to feel good about our community in a time when there's just so much uncertainty. And I think that that's another great thing that the arts do. They bring us hope. And this project is about keeping that hope alive. I think one of the things that as community leaders, as civic leaders, that we do have to be mindful of is what are the stressors that are impacting the arts? What are the things that we can be doing alongside them to ensure that they have access to the resources that they need? Whether that be through grants, whether it be through partnering. Sometimes it's the smallest thing. Sometimes what an arts organization is looking for is for the city to provide them with the space to en envision some spectacular thing that they want to do in the city. Um, and so how do we partner, if it's not with direct cash money from uh, you know, our scarce resources, there are things that we can do to help to ensure that uh, we have a vibrant arts community in our city and in our region.
Hello, my name is Abidan Rodriguez, and I have the honor of serving as the president of the University at Albany. And it is also my pleasure to be part of this historic celebration of Albany Pro Musica's 40th anniversary. The relationship between Albany Pro Musica and New Albany goes back to the very beginning. Albany Pro Musica was founded here in 1981 by David Griggs Janower, and we have maintained our connection through all these years, hosting rehearsals and events. Now, under the direction of my dear friend and fabulous maestro, Jose Daniel Flores Caraballo, we have enjoyed a wonderful partnership, which is an expression of UAlbany's commitment to the arts here on campus and throughout the capital region. Unfortunately, in-person rehearsals and large performances are not possible right now. But Albany Pro Musica is demonstrating once again, as it has across four decades, its innovation, its creativity, and its resilience. That is why I am so proud of our strong connection to Albany Pro Musica and very proud to support its extraordinary musical and cultural contributions. UAlbany has long served as a hub for the performing arts and this is part of our commitment to public engagement and to strengthening and enhancing the quality of life in this community. We look forward to the day when Albany Pro Musica can once again grace our campus with regular rehearsals and performances. In the meantime, to Jose Daniel and to all the performers in Albany Pro Musica, let me say felicidades. Congratulations on 40 years. And to the Albany Pro Musica subscribers and all of the audience members over the decades, thank you so very much for supporting this unique and amazing cultural treasure. Muchísimas gracias.
In the capital region, we have a large and diverse range of performing art ensembles and organizations, representing a great number of perspectives, artistic disciplines and styles, cultures and backgrounds. From community groups to professional ensembles, we are so fortunate to have such a wealth of creativity and talent here in our own backyard with performances and educational programs that serve the entire community. One important element that runs through the cultural community here in the capital region is partnership. Partnerships allow creative people and organizations to connect with one another. The combined creativity that goes into artistic partnerships results in something greater than the sum of its parts. And we all benefit, whether we are in the audience or on stage. Behind the scenes, partnerships can leverage and stretch the investments of our patrons and donors, allowing cultural institutions, big and small, which typically operate as nonprofit organizations, to continue to keep the arts alive. Since 2014, it has been my great privilege to lead Albany Premusica, one of the premier choral ensembles in the region. APM is celebrating its 40th anniversary this year, and the organization's incredible legacy gives us a strong foundation on which to build another 40 years of artistry and innovation. To do that, we embrace both artistic and administrative partnerships that help us fulfill our mission of elevating the choral arts and improving our community through music. Albany Pro Musica is an ensemble in residence at the University at Albany and chorus in residence at the incomparable Troy Savings Bank Music Hall, where we typically perform. These partnerships as well as our new collaboration with WMHT, allow Albany Pro Musica to operate on a professional level. This in turn supports our artistic collaborations with local and visiting ensembles and soloists from around the world who come to the capital region to share the stage with us.
without a rich, vibrant arts community. The reasons to live in the city of Albany are so diminished. I mean, the arts impact our lives in so many important ways, from creative thinking to children's programs to school programs uh, to just simple enjoyment, which we certainly could use a lot of right now. I think that certainly without diversity, you don't get a full, broad range of exposure of the lived experiences of everyone in the community. Um, I think that far too long, uh, not just in our community, but certainly in, in arts in general, um, the focus was through one specific lens, um, which I think is kind of interesting because that's really one of the greatest benefits of the arts is to be able to express your experience to ensure that uh, we have that broad range, not just on a global level, but understanding the, the specific experiences of people in our community, I think is incredibly important to ensuring that that fabric um, is woven as richly as possible. I remember uh, probably midway through the closure, um, while I was certainly feeling isolated from the arts organizations and not hearing what's going on, but just having a feeling of dread knowing um, that the arts organizations were struggling like everyone else, I was really heartened to hear about how, um, and I think specifically our arts organizations and our community made these shifts like um, Albany Pro Musica has, has made to figure out a way to do something virtual uh, and still satisfy the community's need uh, and desire and appetite for art. So I think that, that what this organization is doing, um, like many other organizations, is, is absolutely fantastic because while we are in still in so many ways locked down our desire and our appetite for arts, um, which I guess, again, speaks to the importance of arts in our culture, um, that appetite doesn't wane, that appetite is as strong, if not stronger than ever.
It is a heaven to leave my feet How she can trip with Mary
Albany Pro Musica, we, we stumbled upon it in Albany, and I think it was during the Renaissance Festival years ago. And I used to sing in a choir, and I hadn't heard actual choral music in maybe 20 years. And we were at this festival, and we went into this church, and there was David and Albany Pro Musica up on stage, and I just like fell in love with it again. And followed that, and then with Jose Daniel, who's the most wonderful conductor and writer and arranger and precise and kind, and that's that's what I think of Jose Daniel, so he's, he's a good guy. <laughs> and I think one of the wonders of uh, choral music is that um, choral singers don't need a musical background. They make the... Mm -hmm. music, the sound, the, the, so rich, so incredibly beautiful, um, all by themselves. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think um, a lot of people um, take the arts for granted. Yeah. Um, they see a production, they see a show, and they, 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 don't, they don't maybe appreciate um, how much effort and, and money is actually needed to put on an arts production, whether it's theater or music or um, other creative arts. And um, I, I, I think they, uh, the arts just don't get the respect that they um, uh, deserve in, in creating an environment of creativity um, the uh, this area has has got a, a long history of of being creative, but uh, uh, every now and then we hit a bump and and, and don't necessarily uh, uh, reinvent ourselves as we as we had had done in the past. So more recently, I think we're we're uh, beginning to understand the value of of. Um, Creativity across uh, uh, across the sciences and uh, technology. I mean, they're all connected in, in various ways. And, and um, uh, creativity is creativity. It's just a matter of, of uh, which direction you take it. That was good.
Thank you for joining Albany Pro Musica for the Capital Region Renaissance. Our final piece by our honorary composer and resident Steve Murray is written in a neo-Renaissance style and uses the Latin text of the Lord's Prayer. In the face of the continued challenges of the COVID-19 pandemic, the struggles for racial justice that roil our nation, the horrors of poverty and climate change that are devastating communities around the globe. We offer this plea and prayer for peace, comfort, and hope for a better world.
Day.